it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. Now, I know I normally start off a little bit differently showing the tutorial first before I start talking, but I just gotta show y'all something before, before. So the unit I'm reviewing today is brand new by Sensational from the Wet Lace Collection, Camille. And I have Camille here in the one color. I've actually never purchased a number one color before because I just felt like it would be too much of a dark color. 1B is like honestly the darkest I would go, but this actually doesn't look too bad in the packaging. But then I took her out the packaging, okay? And this is how she was looking straight out the pack, y'all. I'm a little confused. I saw numerous reviews so far on Camille. I saw Shanice Nicole's review. I saw Natural Joy's review. I saw Queen of Mindset's review. I saw, who else? I saw Phoebe Rome's review. The ones who did it in a dark color, none of theirs looked like this out the pack. Look what I'm talking about. None of theirs looked like this out the pack. I'm confused. Like, literally, it was already tangling out the pack. This is just me this is me doing a simple finger comb. And I went back to Shanice and Sherelle's review specifically in the dark color and I was like, am I tripping? Like, is it, am, like, am I not remembering this correctly? But no, there is out the pack look, it just looks silkier for one, but it wasn't, it didn't look like it was tangling like that. What the, f what the hell is this? Did I get like a bad batch or something? I just feel like after I saw those reviews, I was like really looking forward to reviewing Camille because she's a short unit. I know what I'm getting into when it comes to Sensational's Wet Lace Collection, but this is not what I thought I was getting. What is this? <laughs> Yo, this is out the pack, y'all. So as you can see, you know, I'm a little perturbed because I spent my own coin on this unit. And now I'm gonna have to do extra work to get her to what I think she's supposed to look like. So if y'all wanna see me do what I do as much as I can for this unit, keep on watching. Okay, so you'll notice right here that I started off by tinting the lace by spraying with the Got To Be Glue Spray first allowing it to dry and then adding my pressed powder to make the lace the same color as my skin and hopefully that works out pretty well you'll see in the video I just finished applying the unit. Um, I just want to stop and show you the hairline, which does look pretty natural. I think I am getting better with laying my frontals. There's still a bit of a cast. Oh, this looks a little crusty. It's still a cast, but we're just gonna make it do what it do because I'm ready to start styling. But I did want to say before I start styling that I hope no one takes offense to how I was ranting a little bit earlier. Some people do have hair that grows like this naturally and there's nothing wrong with that. This reminds me of like more natural textured hair that hasn't been washed in like a few weeks and it's like you just took some twist out and you're like about to go wash it because it's wash day. This is what this reminds me right now. But last time I checked, this was supposed to be like a style unit that's ready to go. This right here is not ready to go. And last time I checked, this is not a natural hair texture unit. So I'm just confused all the way around. But like I said, we're gonna make it do what it do. Let's continue.
back with Camille after styling her and let's just let's just get into it. So if you're new to the Wet Lace collection, these units became super popular on YouTube due to their 13 by 6 pre-plucked frontal and the pre-plucked part is what got a lot of people excited because it gave the illusion of a very natural hairline and as i showed you in the clip previously the hairline does look good it does come with two combs over here near the center a comb in the back and adjustable straps this is definitely a 13 by 6 parting um because the parting definitely stops like somewhere at the crown of my head so they did really well with the parting the hairline is good per usual normally i go into the pros of the unit and so forth and i do have a few i would say that like i said the hairline the parting space now that i've styled it i think the style looks nice the way it was looking out the pack it wasn't really cutting it for me. And I'm still confused by that because other people's units did not look like that straight out the pack. So I don't know what that was about. But the way I have it now, I like the way I cut it and customize it for my face. I also purposely did a middle part because I noticed other views were doing the side part, which I think looks super pretty. But I just wanted to see how a middle part would look with this unit. And I actually really like it. That's pretty much where the pros stop. Main con would definitely be the texture i don't know like what willis has going on when it comes to the fibers of their unit i've mentioned this in a previous video where i was reviewing a brand new unit by bobby boss from their miss origin line the natural straight 26 some of you may have seen that video and that texture was bomb and i was just thinking about wow the wet lace collections texture pales in comparison to that unit i don't understand why you're telling me you're serving premium synthetic fiber right this is premium right but the fibers feel like trash whatever you guys saw earlier i don't know what that was this is not a natural hair unit why is it looking like i'm at wash day you know what i mean this is supposed to come styled already kind of out the pack you can customize it of course but I just feel like I had to do a lot of work to this unit to get it to where I needed it to be. I had to apply water to the unit, finger comb through it with the water. Normally I would use mousse, but I didn't have any on hand. And then cutting the unit because it was like out to here and that's just not the look I was going for with this unit. I just did videos on natural hair units that are big and fluffy and like vivacious. That was cool for them, but this is not the look I was going for with this unit. So I, I just... <laughs> I don't get it. The fibers are a big problem for me. I've said this in other videos that texture means a lot to me when it comes to wigs in general. And if I'm paying $50 plus for a synthetic unit, mind you, I can easily pay, you know, maybe $40 more for like a human hair bob. If I'm paying that money, I expect the fibers to be a little bit more on point. It shouldn't feel like a $20 synthetic unit. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't feel like baby doll hair. And this is this isn't, I wouldn't, this is just coming across, like when I touch it, it's just not premium, y'all. It's not to me, it's not. The hairline, yes, A1. Parting space, yes, on point. Texture, no, try again. I just realized it more and more with each unit. I reviewed Audrey first, I reviewed Chrissy, I reviewed Kiari in two colors, in a natural color and a copper color. I reviewed Danzy in a blonde color. Now I'm reviewing this, this unit, which is in a dark color, and I purposely got a dark color because I didn't want to deal with the extra tangling that would come with a color unit for this. I already know how sensational fibers are with this unit. And I'm still dealing with it. Out the pack, like I don't understand that. I'm taking out the pack and I'm running my fingers through you and I, I'm get, I can't. I don't even want to do it again because it's going to mess up the style that I've created here. But you saw what you saw in the other clip. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's just a little frustrating. I don't know if you all agree with me or not. Please let me know your opinions in the comments down below. But it's just, I'm just getting a little over it when it comes to the Wet Lace Collection. Especially when there are other companies doing it better when it comes to the fibers on their units. The Miss Origin unit, bomb. The Harlem 125 unit, awesome the hollow 25 unit is a purely synthetic unit you feel me mind you doesn't have all the curls that this one has but it's longer and it wasn't tangling out the pack like that i just expect a little better at this point of the game when it comes to synthetic units sensational is making a whole lot of money off of these units right and I just feel like there are some things that they are not delivering on that they need to continue to work on. I noticed with the lace that it wasn't that ashy gray. It was more like a 
like a light, light beige. So I'm like, okay, I guess they're trying to improve the lace. I, I'm just like, yo, your competitors are hitting. So sensational, if you're watching, please do something about the fibers on your unit. I said it back in the Audrey unit. I think it's the quality of the hair. They should probably do like a human hair blend. Please do a human hair blend. I would love to see what that formula looks like on the Wet Lace collection. Maybe it would come out a little bit better. I might pay $5 more for human hair blend. You know what I'm saying? Like do it this right here is not cutting it for me i think i styled it nicely compared to what i was given but i wouldn't go out and buy this unit again hell no i would not absolutely not and if you like the way that i cut this unit there's actually another unit that looks very similar to this and i'm pretty sure my girl kyra Sean and jessica aka wigs and wanderlust reviewed them it's the um outre vera Kai or Jessica, if you're watching, confirm with me if this is true. But I'm pretty sure the Outre Vera unit looks very similar to this, but it's probably half the price. You know, it's, I think it's in the $20, $25, $27 price range. So yeah, this video is getting a little bit long and I'm tired. <laughs> Nighttime, like this is what it looks like when I record at night. And I just wasn't expecting this much work with this unit tonight, so I'm ready to go to bed, honestly. However, if you're still watching, I really appreciate you rocking with me and listening to me basically vent about this unit. I hope that, you know, I turned this into something that you at least like. If you still want to purchase this unit, I, I just hope you, um, I just hope you like what you get. And again, I don't know if I got like a bad batch because it does not look like other people's units out the pack. But hey, I guess I'll never know. So please let me know how you feel about this unit in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on her after you saw what I went through, Camille? Would you purchase her? How are you feeling about the other unit that they just came out with, Darlene? I have been very hesitant about purchasing Darlene because I just knew what I would be getting myself into and it's longer and I just knew the tangling was gonna be insane. And I just don't wanna deal with that. I just don't. However, I was like, you know, people probably wanna see Darlene on me. Another part of me is like, there are a lot of views out on Darlene right now. So maybe people won't really care to see it on me. I don't know. If you wanna see me review Darlene, let me know. Maybe I'll buy her and like try to do something with her too. But this was exhausting. <laughs> but I think she came out cute. I think she came out cute. And I like her with the hoops and the red lipstick. If you're new to my channel, make sure you tap that subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you do not miss any of my upcoming videos. A sincere thank you to everyone that has watched this video from start to finish. I really appreciate you if you've been watching this as a premiere. Thank you so much. I rock with you and I love you so, so much. Again, I hope I didn't offend anyone when I was talking about the hair. Y'all already know that I'm gonna keep it real with you regardless of whether I'm being paid to review a wig or not. This is just my opinion. Let me know yours in the comments down below. And if you wanna see other wet lace units that I've reviewed, check them out all over here to the left and to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.